Hello and welcome to Microphone Cage, the only podcast not worth listening to. I, we're your hosts, Noah Ross and Alex Miles, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Why did we name it Microphone Cage again? Because this is because there's a thing on the microphone called a microphone cage, and it's a cool name. I guess. I guess. I mean, okay. All right. Ah. Yeah, this is a new podcast and stuff. Ain't that fun? Yeah, it's a fun podcast. Fun. Where what is fun? What is life? Life is existence. So basically, the format of this podcast is just going to be, I give a random topic, Alex gives a random topic, then we talk about something serious in a charity you can help to donate to to help stop serious said problem. Yes. And then we do an outro. So that's how it's going to work from here on out. Are you clear? If you hear a if weird you're not- noise in the background, that's just a dog chewing a, chewing a bone. Yeah, he's a good boy. His name is Copper. Hi, Copper. Coppery. He's a good boy. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So my serious top, my silly topic is echidna milk. <sighs> Shouldn't exist. Yeah. So echidnas are a monotreme, which means they belong to the same group of mammals as platypus. Platypi? Platopodes? Platop- Platypus. Plata, plata, yeah, it's hard to say. Plata people. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but the thing about monotremes that's weird is that they lay eggs. They do so lay they're eggs. mammals that lay eggs, which is pretty neat. Yeah. But they also have their own, mi- but they also produce milk for their young, mm-hmm. which means that echidnas are one of the only mammals capable of producing their own omelet. That is kind of dark. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could also make platypuses could also platyp- platypoids platypedes anyways so back to echidna milk yeah we had some technical difficulties yeah Ooh. i came up with it uh yesterday because alex and i were driving oh I, we were I, we, we were, were driving, driving. <laughs> we're under the legal driving age but we were in a car that was being driven and we um came up with the idea of echidna milk Never thought I'd ever say back to in kidna milk. <laughs> I think that might be I might be the first person to have ever said that. I said it for oh wait uh, back to in inki- back to in kidna milk. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, on to my topic of the day. Well, it's not a daily podcast, so it's a we don't <sighs> have a topic of the actually well, well, topic of the segment topic of the podcast all yeah, right okay so, so my topic of the podcast is english phrases which i despise for instance <laughs> the phrase shooting fish in a barrel is supposed to mean oh it's gonna be easy of course it's easy if the fish are dead <laughs> <laughs> and all right can i bring up another phrase yeah bring up another phrase uh, for all intents and purposes my dad told me this story about how he used to think for all intents and purposes was for all intensive purposes. <laughs> and so, and when he saw it written down, he was confused about it. We have so many words like this. You probably haven't realized this yet. Uh, another, you, Some of you, this is a rude awakening. It's for all intents and purposes, not all intensive purposes. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. Not sorry. No, we're not sorry. We're not sorry. sorry. We don't feel sorry. No, no not at all. Is sorry an emotion? Well, yeah, it kind of... Uh, sorry, we don't feel regret. There, there we go. go. We don't yeah, feel that, regret. Is regret an emotion, though? <laughs> what is an emotion? <laughs> I don't know. Sadness is an emotion. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> anyway, back onto my topic. Yeah, there are some English phrases that just don't make sense. Burn that bridge. Well, cross burn that the- bridge when we get Come. to it. Why don't we just burn the bridge? Like. That's a much better phrase. Burn that bridge when we get to it. Because, like, yeah. what if we're on a military I th- I campaign? I disagree. I disagree. I think cross that bridge when we come to it is an excellent phrase. It's a perfect phrase. It's easy to understand. And it's not like... Yes, for- but what if there's no bridge? It's an e- it's a simple metaphor to understand. For instance, I didn't know till today when Alex told me that when people say, Speak of the devil, that's part of a longer phrase. Speak, Speak of, of the, the devil, devil and he, he will, will appear. appear. Which I find amazing that nobody knew that. Or that well, Noah didn't know that. I find that confusing, because I thought I've always knew that noon, noon, noon that noon is a time. Yeah, I hate the English language. It's so hard. 
which is why we should all switch to Esperanto. Esperanto which, is the greatest language. Esperanto is a synthesized language. We should make that's next week's top. That's one of next week's silly topics. Esperanto. And then we're gonna make our own language. No, we we'll no, just switch no. to Esperanto. Yeah. All right. Um. So well, now, uh, we have a serious topic. But first, it's time for the word of the day. Today's word of the day is violence. Violence is bad. Violence is when you do this. Ow! For those of because you can't see this, I just punched <laughs> Alex hard in this in the armpit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I regret that violence. Most violence though is worse than that. Yes. It's like driving over people's houses with tanks. That's not cool. Who does not that? Israel. Israel <laughs> no. does that. I thought you meant like just everyday violence that happens like everywhere. Yeah. Don't you hate it when your house violence gets run has over plenty by of a tank? Violence has plenty of intri- of terrible subcategories. For instance, domestic violence or um, d- domus is the Latin for house. So um, so that means bathhouse. So, so, uh, so that's what happens when you drive over your someone's house with a tank. No, no, seriously, domestic violence is a serious I issue. Know. We should make it one of the serious issues for this podcast. Well, on to our serious issue for today. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, yeah. Would you like to announce our serious topic? I'll let you do it. It's the demonetized virus. Oh, yeah, I hate the demonetized virus. We're not allowed to say the name of it because you get demonetized because YouTube's copyright system and demonetization system is trash. But anyways, what we were saying is, yeah, this virus is a thing and we don't like it. Uh, Yeah. It's rather serious. It kind of sucks because, you know, like, people die. I think right now in the U where we're sitting in the U.S., it's about... 800 people a day are kicking the bucket from the demonetized virus. And that's not cool. No. Because people are genuinely kind of cool sometimes. 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 Some people are cool. Yeah. Like all of my viewers all at their homes or wherever they're watching this. Yo. You guys are cool. <laughs> yeah, you're cool. <laughs> well, that's that that spiked. We got some uh, <laughs> distortion there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Anyways, yeah. So... Um, yeah, um, but the demonetized virus has not only caused people to kick the bucket, it's caused crippling health problems, and it's caused crippling, um, uh, the little, uh, what's it called? Financial issues yes. for people who, who get the virus and for people who don't get the virus. A wise man once said that a doctor is someone who kills your ills with pills and then, ki- and then kills your, yeah, wait. bills with, no, kills your ills with pills and then kills you with bills. Uh, did you say that? Yes. <laughs> kills your ills with pills and then kills you with bills. And by bills, we don't mean people named William or yeah, the sorry, mouth Will. of a duck. M- duck mouths are terrifying. On to, that's the next topic. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's but yeah, so we mean money. Yeah. So um, also people are forced to stay at home because we don't want to spread the demonetized virus. And because of that, we need to do things like um, um, there are some cool charities. So basically, most charities wow, – epic voice crack. Most charities you see around, they're helping with the demonetized virus right now. Uh-huh. A lot of them at I least. I don't think that many charities are hurting the virus. Like, Yeah. I don't think they're being not <sighs> Anyways. Um, Dog. So the dog's been barking, but, um, um, so what, what's the, are we spotlighting a charity? Um, uh, no, because there's just so many to choose from. There's so many great charities out there. Just literally open your browser. We don't have internet right now. No, we don't have internet. As, as of recording this, we have internet as of posting this, but not as of recording this. (laughs) Yep. Anyways, um, yeah. And just find tabs for a cause. This T- is tabs for a cause. All right, so we're spotlighting tabs for a cause. Yeah, that's what we're spotlighting. All right, tabs for a cause. Tabs for a cause is we're not just to say hashtag not sponsored. We are not sponsored by them yet. Um, <laughs> tabs for a cause, please sponsor us if you are please. seeing this. We want money. <laughs> More importantly, we want money money for the peeps who need it. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> tabs for a cause is a web thing that you can install, and every time you open a new t- br- browser tab. As I'm about to demonstrate, but you can't see this. <laughs> you get tab. You get cash money for a charity of your choice. Yeah. So, like, I just made a bunch of cash. Ah. 
All right, looks like our recording session is being cut short. But basically, go download Tabs for a Cause. It's like at tabsforacause.org.com or something. Just org. search Tabs for a Cause. Just, just Tabs for a Cause. All right. Uh, thanks for watching this, this podcast. Is, this has been the Mike Cage. <laughs> um, we will see you the next time. We will, Alex is going on vacation, so we will see you the next time. We record we, this podcast. Yay. <laughs> next time we upload it. Well, yeah. We won't All right, bye. bye. Bye, guys. Whoa, that was clipping. That was bye. very clipping. Bye. Bye. He's going to cut me off while speaking.